Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're going to be looking at a couple of Grease Pen 2 features that was, you know, kind of talked about in the just concluded Blender Conference 2019. So it turns out that there's a couple of features that will be coming over to Grease Pen 2 in Blender 2.82. And I'll just quickly go through them so that you can see. And these features were kind of announced by a guy called Daniel Martinez. So I think he gets to work with uh, the creators and is also one of the developers for Blender and also an instructor that works with Blender and Maya as well. And he went through to talk about a couple of things. So the first one is called Project MPX. And so this seems to be like a project that they've been working on, which has to do with already we know that you can go ahead and make use of, you know, uh, virtual reality when you're working in Blender. But now they're kind of trying to include both mouse pen, VR and XR when you're doing the whole grease pencil thing, which to me is an amazing plus and also a feature that a lot of 2D artists will love and enjoy. The sculpting feature by default looks good and great. But then, of course, I mean, if you can go in there and kind of walk your way through doing those effects and doing some other things there. And this is kind of reminding me a whole lot about some other apps like Quill and all that stuff. I mean, the first time when I got to see the whole VR thing with the project MPX, uh, first the first thing I thought about was Quill. And at the same time, I also thought about Tilt Brush. And this is going to make so much sense. I mean, if they go ahead and improve the entire drawing experience, because you can now go in there and actually mix up 2D and, you know, 3D uh, at the same time. Now, I'm just seeing the possibilities that you can get with the vr and the improved drawing experience uh, i kind of think that would make a lot of sense next up is the draw manager revamp so they want to actually make a couple of changes on how you can work with the drawing tools that you have there and how you can go through and manage things like overlappings and all of those other stuff they want to go ahead as well to improve the painting experience or the drawing experience that you have there so they are thinking of creating a new set of options for uh, smoother brushing and faster brushing especially when you're working with lines and multi sets of brushes so to me i think this is also a very inclusive plus which would make a lot of sense especially for storyboarding artists and artists that want to work with multiple kinds of brush sets so i think very huge updates will be coming over to blender so long ago we did talk about something that came over to substance i guess out substance 2019.1 where well, we got to talk about the whole dynamic paint brush where you can you know select a setting color in the spectrum and you can paint it all out with variations just you know bleed out of the paint yeah something like that is coming over to blender and it's going to give some dynamic color uh when you get to paint using that there is also a huge update that will be coming over to the storyboarding tool so the storyboarding tool by default is working perfectly fine i mean you can just go in there and make your storyboard uh there's a couple of them that were demoed and I think for this one, they're trying to find a way where you can actually go in there and you can move from sequencer to editor more efficiently. So you can make all of your huge changes more efficiently. I think these are going to make more sense when they are live in Blender 2.82. The SVG import export is also something else that I am quite excited about. I mean, they said that from this point coming forward, when this is available, you'll be able to bring in all of those SVG drawings that you've done in both Illustrator or Inkscape directly into blender and this is also cool because now once you bring them directly in the strokes the colors and you know every other thing that you've done in the other native app would all be imported as you know materials directly into grease pencil so you have a whole lot of flexibilities that you can do because now you can go in there you can edit these things you can sculpt them and at the same time most especially you can go through and animate them so these are some you know few features that will be coming one more feature to note that that will be coming over is you'll be able to edit you know strokes using temporary bezier so you know how you can go out ahead and you know draw certain curves and certain lines and you can just go in there make a couple of tweaks here and there trying to figure things out just to make sure that you have the perfect line now it is going to be super easy and super possible because once you have this temporary basal lines it's going to make so much sense when you're editing your curves and these are a couple of things that will be coming over to blender and they're also saying for future progressions that they will be looking at how you can integrate blender directly into eevee 
which right now i think blender is super awesome and you know once all of these things come into play it's going to be way way super awesome if you want to find where you can get free materials and free textures and all of that stuff link is also going to be in the description where you can find all of those things totally for free and you know get the best out of them Tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section. I kind of think that this is going to be a huge plus coming to 2.82. I'd like to know what you guys expect to come from 2.82. I'm actually still wondering if they're going to go through and walk over the whole UV thing because I think it is just one of those aspects in Blender that has not really been talked about. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the like button and also don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video. And until I see you guys again with the tutorial update, Free Friday, Tutorial Tuesday, Tips and Tricks, things like this. Peace.